An experiment was performed using two chicken coops. Building A and building B. Both had 20,000 chickens. Building A, the chickens were fed the same feed as building B. The only variable was building A had groundwater and building B used alkaline water. Now, after one month, the survival rate was recorded. 1,100 chickens died in building A. 94.5% survival rate. 140 chickens died in building B. 99.3% survival. Not only was the mortality rate less amongst those using the alkaline water, but when they were weighed, the chickens in the coop using alkaline water were 130 grams heavier. Next, we'll take you to an experiment using rats with diabetes. Rat A used groundwater, rat B used alkaline water. After a period of it looks like one month, then two months, we see the ratio going down the blood, blood sugar level is dropping. After a matter of two months, there was a 50 point drop. We see also the fat value dropping. We'll also see a cholesterol change, cholesterol variable. Now we see rats given melanoma cancer. Fifteen days after the injection of melanoma cancer, we see a difference in the size of tumors. The one on the left was alkaline water, the one on the right was groundwater. After the tumors were removed, we see that the one on the left drinking the alkaline water had a tumor less than half the size of the one drinking the ground water. When we say ground water, I mean your local municipal water. Now we're going to show the effect on colonies of cancers in lungs. As you can see, there were 145 cancer cell colonies in ordinary water. The alkaline water affected the lungs by restraining 
that, and we see much less volume in the rooms. Now we're going to active oxygen or f free radicals, as they're referred to. Um, they are positively charged. The blood cells are actually negatively charged. That's why they move, they repel. But the active oxygen is destructive. The ionized water, or negatively charged ions, go in and remove the free radicals instead of having them exploding and destroying other cells. So we did a test 20 days later to determine the amount of free radicals and we found a reduction, quite a radical reduction. So the congen water is good for removing the free radicals, the tumors, increasing the lifespan, But probably the most incredible film that I found here, and again, we're talking about the presence of free radicals again, is this film coming up. And that is someone with a problem of blood clotting. You'll notice the blood is moving very, very sluggishly through blood vessels. And because blood is negatively charged, it repels and flows. Evidently, the electromagnetic energy is not present, as you can see. It looks very stagnant, very barely moving, dangerous situation. The only thing that changed is taking a glass, one glass of water, blood was tested 30 minutes later and look at this wonderful stream flowing moving all the blood cells three times faster that's why we suggest you use conscient water